We've all been waiting for this. Sydney McLaughlin versus Femke Ball. 400 meter hurdles. In the world of track and field, American hurdler Sydney McLaughlin is arguably the most successful athlete we have today over the 400 meter hurdles. In 2022, McLaughlin displayed dominance and consistency on the track, setting records that may take several years to break. And while the feat she has displayed so far seems unmatched and unbeatable, McLaughlin is just facing a new threat from rising athletes led by Dutch Femke Ball. Ball has proved her raw talent this season, achieving incredible times in the indoors and outdoors, shaking the world of track and field. Will Sydney McLaughlin shine again at the Worlds amidst the stiff competition? Be sure to watch this video till the end to find out. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications to never miss an update whenever we post. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Olympic and world champion Sydney McLaughlin has a rich track record in athletics. The 23-year-old who stands as the reigning world record holder in the 400-meter hurdles with a record time of 50.68 seconds has gone completely undefeated for the past two seasons, breaking the 400-meter hurdles world record four times. In the process, McLaughlin became the first female athlete in the world to break the 52-second and 51-second barriers in the 400-meter hurdles. This time goes down in record books as the fifth of the top 10 fastest performances ever. This tells you just how talented McLaughlin is, and when she means to unleash her speed, she truly can be unbeatable. Now, looking at McLaughlin's impressive record over the years, it's easy to get blindfolded and forget about the threat being unleashed by rising stars on the track. And true to that, the 2023 indoor campaign has seen one athlete from the Netherlands prove a threat to McLaughlin. And that is none other than 23-year-old Dutch Olympic 400-meter hurdles bronze medalist Femke Bol. Honestly, looking at how Femke Bol has performed this season so far, we can only say she is one of the most talented and, of course, underrated athletes we have around today. She started unleashing terror in early February when she broke the indoor 500-meter world record with a scorching time of 1 minute and 5.63 seconds. This was an incredible feat, making her the only female athlete to ever go below 1 minute 6 seconds in the 500 meters. As if that was not enough, Femke Bull went ahead on February 19th to do something that no female athlete had ever done in the past four decades. She broke a 41-year-old record in the indoor 400 meters, completely crushing the historic time of Jarmila Kratochvilova by a fraction of a second to set a new world best time of 49.26 seconds. Kratochvilova's world record of 49.59 seconds was set back in 1982 and was the longest standing world record in track races and the second oldest record in track and field, trailing behind Helena Fibingerova's world record in the indoor shot put set back in 1977. Honestly, this was a heroic moment in the world of track and field and brought Femke Bol into the limelight. No one ever thought the four-decade-long record would ever be broken this season, but it happened thanks to the efforts of Femke Bol. This honestly tells you that Femke Bol is out for something big. And what else if not working on a mission to challenge the current 400-meter hurdles defender, Sydney McLaughlin? And considering that she is the third fastest woman in history in the 400-meter hurdles, closely following the great Sydney McLaughlin and Delilah Muhammad, you can tell she's a real threat to McLaughlin's world record. And while some thought she might lose her focus going into the outdoors, Femke Ball has proved them wrong. She has remained consistent, delivering amazing performances in every event she participates in. In her debut outdoor campaign in the 400-meter hurdles at the IFAM meeting in Ortegem, Belgium, Ball left a historic mark. She smashed her competition, sprinting to a world-leading time of 53.12 seconds. This was monumental for Ball and cemented her name as one of the favorites for the world title in Budapest, Hungary later this year. As you can tell, it seems nothing will stop her vision. In fact, her 2023 season so far has remained spotless. From early February to late May, Ball has continued to dominate in every race she competes, emerging with victory. That puts her at the top of the watch list going into the World Athletic Championships. And with Femke Ball now holding the world lead over the women's 400-meter hurdles in a category that Sydney McLaughlin looks forward to defending, you can tell it's going to be exciting going forward. And nobody can tell what's going to happen ahead of Worlds because McLaughlin is yet to return to the track this season, and fans are eager to see how she will perform in her opening 400-meter hurdles campaign. We 
We know McLaughlin is already a champion and that she has got a lot more potential to improve even on her existing records. She not only dominated the 2022 season, but also went undefeated in the 400 meter hurdles in 2021, winning the Olympic gold once again. And also she broke the world record twice in 2022, winning more gold medals. However, we can't rule out the fact that she'll still have to put in more effort if she means to remain at the top, because already Ball has proven to be a formidable contender this season, and she seems absolutely perfect in every race she competes in. But Femke Bowl is not the only female track athlete who's craving to crush McLaughlin's record. Britton Wilson from the University of Arkansas is another female athlete who has proven beyond doubt that she can comfortably compete against McLaughlin and still give her a run for her money. Wilson holds one of the greatest collegiate campaigns to date. She is not only dominating in the collegiate open 400 meters, but she is also a strong force in the 400 meter hurdles, ranking second in the world in both events. Her season best for the open 400 meters and 400 meter hurdles stands at 49.13 seconds and 53.23 seconds. This is an incredible mark for a collegiate career that many collegiate athletes only dream about. In fact, her 49.13 seconds over the open 400 meters is the current collegiate record, which was an improvement on her previous record. But before that, the collegiate record over the open 400 meters was held by Athing Mu who shares a coach with Sydney McLaughlin. Moving on to her time over the 400 meter hurdles, and you get to realize that Wilson is quickly moving closer to the NCAA record of 52.75 seconds set by Sydney McLaughlin. With just a fraction of a second separating the two, you can tell Wilson is not just a threat, but she will definitely topple McLaughlin's collegiate record and even go ahead to beat her world records. So as usual, when you see an athlete displaying such daring numbers, you get to understand that the season is going to be be impressive for them. And that's the strong message that Wilson is trying to put out there. And guys, we got to keep an eye on her. Because who knows, she might just go on to record the greatest ever season for any track and field athlete. And we can't doubt the possibility of something of that nature happening. Wilson has got the potential to do much more, and immediately she gets relieved of the college pressure, she'll have enough time to focus on her professional career as a pro athlete and get into fine form. Now, the fact that Femke Bull and Britton Wilson are all displaying impressive numbers shows that they're more likely to challenge Sydney McLaughlin in either the open 400 meters or the 400 meter hurdles, and so McLaughlin must train well before facing off against these two, because they are coming with rage and the goal is to strip off McLaughlin's heroic medals. Whether that's something that can happen or not, we wait to see. Already, McLaughlin, through her coach Bob Kersey, has revealed that she plans to race in the open 400 meters at the USATF Championships in July, and either the 400 meters or 400 meter hurdles at World Championships in Budapest later this year. Additionally, McLaughlin may also race the mixed gender 4x100 meter relay and the women 4x400 meter relay at Worlds. And if this happens, you can be sure she may grab triple medals at the Worlds. So far, McLaughlin has skipped all indoor events and she might as well skip all outdoor activities now that she already has an automatic qualification for the Worlds and National Championships. So there you have it guys. Do you think Sydney McLaughlin will lose her championship record titles this year? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content like this. Thanks for watching.